Hi everyone, it's Michelle Clippert at the Real Estate Store and this is Real Talk for Real Estate. Um, I am here alone, I am at the Real Estate Store and I don't have a sidekick mainly because we are still in the 2020 pandemic. It is May of 2020, it's the first week of May. Um, people are just getting back to work and a limited amount as well. So realtors can show property. Um, what have we seen in real estate? Well, we haven't seen a bunch of changes. We had a month of no showings. And so at that time, it's almost like it was a stall in the market. Um, and so we haven't seen huge prices of, of uh, decreased home uh, prices yet or we haven't seen um, a surge of inventory on the market yet. I mean, we've just been kind of in this nowhere's land for real estate, um, but we do have buyers coming back. And those buyers um, are definitely looking for properties. And it's interesting because many of our buyers that are coming back are wanting to get out of the city. And I think that's very interesting because we're more of a rural um, community here in Montrose, Colorado. Uh, <clears throat> but we, I don't think we're going to see um, what's really going to be happening with this market right away because of the stimulus. And so when people and businesses have gotten money from the government, um, it isn't until that time frame runs out that we will see any reaction whatsoever to the market. And hopefully everybody would be back at work before that stimulus is gone out of the picture. But remains to be seen. It's uncharted territory. So it is spring. Let's put our minds into a different way, in a different category, something to look forward to. If you are a seller, and if you're not a seller, um, this is. I'm just going to give you some good tips to look around the house and the outside of the house and inside of the house for spring for any maintenance issues. Because those are, get outside um, so often that we don't really look at our homes. You know, we live in the home, but we don't really look at it. And so thus things come with deferred maintenance and all of a sudden we're having to fix something that's major instead of something that's not as major. So <clears throat> walking around the house, um, you want to analyze the condition of the outside of the house. So one of the things is the roof. You know, um, when was it last updated? I don't know if you can get on your roof, but if you can, or if you can see, are there shingles that have blown off? Or uh, what is the actual condition of that? Are the valleys, have they, you know, have they deteriorated? Have the boots up on the uh, roof deteriorated as well? Those are really good things to just kind of check out. And they really are not high dollar things other than having to replace the whole roof, but maintenance of it is not really high dollar. So. It's something that you really want to check out, especially in, in the gutters. Like in the fall, if you had not cleaned those out, um, you want to make sure that the gutters are cleaned out of leaves and debris and things like that. So in the spring, when we do start getting rains, um, that, that will all flow really correctly for your property. Um, the other is to um, check out the exterior, like your driveway and your walkway and your patios. You know, the winter, we, when you move snow or when, you know, just just the upheaval of the seasons for around your house, you'd be surprised how maybe your walkways don't look the same. And it could be a stone walkway, it could be um, the actual uh, concrete itself. Something to look at to say, do I need to do some maintenance issues on that? And is it spring? It's a good time to do that. Um, look at your siding of your house, uh, the flashing, and, and make sure that that siding is still in good condition. Um, if it needs to be painted, or if you have an older home, you want to make sure you don't have any peeling paint, um, and that could be a lead-based paint issue. So you want to make sure you just kind of touch up on that stuff. You know, looking around the bottom of the siding as well as all the way up to the top of the siding um, with the trim. Um, check out your your exterior doors and your eaves 
and your soffits. You know, you want to make sure that if you have vents in those soffits that that airflow can go through it. A lot of times people paint them and they get painted over and um, you don't have the proper airflow. So just kind of check that out. You know, it may be something that you really need to address. Um, and we tend to we tend to go out on our patios and we don't look up. I mean, we we barbecue, we do all that stuff. Look up, look, take a look at that, and just make sure that there's non maintenance issue that you need to um, address and and do it in the spring. It's a good time to do it. Um, your fencing and the vegetation. You know, when you're cleaning up your yard for spring, check out your vegetation and check out your fencing, and make sure that the grading is done properly. You don't want your grading of your yard to go into your house or into water into the house, that type of thing. And this is the time to do it when you can have a chance to move dirt, move things, um, clean that up, up that yard. It's really a good time to check out your retaining walls and things like that. So for the outside of the house, those are really good things to check out. The inside of the house, if you're a little more energetic, some of the things you may want to um, check out are like your attic. Uh, how much insulation, ins insulation is in there? And is it all just blown to one side or can you redistribute that? Um, insulation and access, then those are important things. You know what, many times up in the attic that you know, your heating system has separated or vents have separated and it's when you have the time and many of us do still because of lockdown, it might be a good time to just kind of picture that and see if any of those things need to be addressed. Um, plumbing. Uh, any drain leaks, uh, looking under the cabinets, making sure that there's no leaks uh, around the toilets, uh, in the showers, turn on your showers, just check out and see if you have any leaking going on. It may be as simple as some caulking that may help you, or, um, or you may need to call a plumber. It may surprise you what you find and uh, because you don't want the house to deteriorate anymore. Um, and that would be going for your electrical in the sense of check out your CO2 alarms. Make sure that they're working properly and your um, smoke alarms, make sure they're working properly because that's going to be a big deal for you. And this is always a good time to change those batteries if you need to do so as well. Walk around your house, look at your doors, open up all your windows, see if they open up naturally. Uh, look for your screens. Uh, you may have taken them off and put them under the house for the winter, but make sure the screens are all in good condition. It is relatively cheap to have your screens re redone, and there are many places that will do that for you. Um, it's just a good maintenance kind of issue. And your fireplace. You may have been using that all winter, and it might be a good time to get it cleaned. So <clears throat> look th that over and just make sure that's on your maintenance schedule. And then um, if you're really energetic, go through your appliances. See what's going on with your appliances. Make sure your dishwasher is running correctly, no leaks, things like that. Uh, your refrigerator, disposal, um, if you have central vac, that type of stuff. Just check those things out and make sure they're going well. Um, with that, uh, if you really want to um, get down and dirty, and I do mean down and dirty, because go under the house. Um, get in under the house if you have a crawl space. Check it out. If you haven't been under there in a long time, maybe this is the time to do so. A lot of people have their water turned on for their sprinklers under their house. Go under there, and while you're under there, take a look at the foundation. Make sure everything looks good. Make sure there's no water access going on. Um, that maybe your vapor barrier, if you have one, is in good condition. And um, just making sure that there's no different maintenance under the house. So it's a really good time to just kind of check that out. So with that, it is springtime. And with that comes just some of the maintenance issues that make us enjoy our summers. Whether you're listing your house or not, um, it is really a good practice for maintenance issues on your home. So with that, I want to thank you for being part of Real Talk for Real Estate. Hopefully you'll be seeing all the brokers soon. And um, we cherish you. And if you have any uh, questions, anything that we can answer, we are phone call, email, 
And our office is open on a limited basis still. So give us a call and we're here to service you. Thank you so much. It's Michelle Clippert um, with the Real Estate Store in Montrose, Colorado.